Otis Griffin, I call your punk ass out. I say that you're a fucking fraud. And I say that you should back up your words. And you know what? Did you think that I wasn't going to copy and paste? But is in effect a threat, motherfucker. And when I read the following to Riley5150, uh, he was like, damn, isn't Otis a CO at Folsom? I mean, that shit could get that nigga fired. <laughs> I'm like, really? Um, damn, that's what I think. It says, Otis Griffin, January 2nd at 8.44 p.m. Report, you pink toe white trash piece of shit. I'm a college grad and millionaire. I've got your whole report card. Did you forget that NAS, NAS was my trainer for years? You didn't play at Notre Dame. Save that for these people that never did anything in sports. You are just a drunk ass drug using bum that fights at age 40 plus on local semi pro fake ass cage fight shows for less than $100. I was gonna whip your ass myself, but some of the homies step up and reminded me I'm too big to come down to scum. So they gonna get on your head, exclamation mark. Oh yeah, they some real quote unquote niggas. Enjoy, exclamation mark. Maybe I'll come by and piss on you after it's all over. See you then. Cool, bitch. <laughs> you know what? I pray that Otis Nixon attacks me in the street and I can beat his punk ass in front of everybody. And if no one is looking, uh, I'm going to choke him out. And if he doesn't wake up, it's not my fucking fault because I didn't start it and shit. So, peace. And, uh, oh, let me read some of the retorts. <laughs> this is pretty good. I said, bitch, I'm putting your ass on front street talking smack like you do shit when I fuck your ass up in a street fight. You want to start a war, my nigga? See absence of ER at the end, bitch. Didn't say N-I-G-G-E-R. Don't talk shit you wouldn't do yourself. And if anyone comes for me, don't be surprised they come through your fucking door as a batting ram. After I've duct taped their shit and electrocuted them so they tell me everything. See my play at Notre Dame, bitch. See me strong enough to play defensive line. Fast enough to cover blacks with more speed and athletic talent than you'd ever dreamed of having. I'd have owned you on the football field, in the locker room, and if in the same cell, bet uh, you'd hope uh, that I wasn't gay, dog. Uh, but if I was, and you know, it doesn't matter what I said, bet if I wasn't gay and wanted to make money off your ass, I'd pimp you out to the fellas for soups and whatever the fuck. Laugh out loud. Threaten me, bitch. Uh, ain't gonna go down any way you thought it was. Trust and believe. And then Otis comes back. Real killers don't talk. See you in the streets, pink toe. And I said, laugh out loud. You are too dumb for words. If you really are Otis Griffin, millionaire, who just basically said his words contracted my potential death, I just talked with Bob Carson, okay? Carson's corner. And he's gonna do an interview for me on my YouTube channel where I call you out saying I'd wreck your punk ass and that if anyone ever comes for me, they're getting electrocuted to tell me where you live. I don't think it's going to be necessary anymore because basically someone already ratted out where you do live, punk, okay? And you will never make another attempt on my life again. Or I'm also putting up a weed reward for your address. He just actually gave it for free, but I'll still kick him down, you know what? Because uh, that was pretty cool. So if someone comes for me and they don't survive the encounter, I'll know exactly where to find you. You're a dumb trick bitch athlete surrounded by criminals thinking he's one of them saying stupid shit that'll potentially get him sent to the gas chamber or the electric chair for pre-planning and opening up the floodgates on all your hard question mark earn money. When I'm saying me and many, many other cage fighters would fuck you up and perhaps even kill you easily in a street fight. Think I haven't choked many people to tap? I'm a savage in strength, bitch. Brothers, wasn't there that thing about chokeholds leading to easy death from cops? Think I'm not more dangerous? Think I haven't gone through the front door first of someone that had it coming? Trust and believe, my nigga. You will lament this decision for the rest of your life. Okay? And then it goes on to continue. Um, <laughs> says, Otis Fantarius Griffin. Looks like this is where homeboy stays at. Uh, beep. Kings Coat Way, Mather, California. Is that your address? Well, it must be because you say after come through any time I'm always at my post protecting my family just to understand if you show up at my door or on my property you will have to suffer the consequences believe that I said your call my nigga keep the peace 
As in, none of your dick-sucking acolytes come over to do what you too pussy and can't laugh out loud, then I had no reason to visit you. It's all good, baby boy. This white boy would have owned your punk ass in any phase of the game. We'll make a movie pretending I'm gay, and what would happen to that black ass is I turn you into my gay hooker boyfriend, laugh out loud, turning tricks during yard time to make canteen. Renting your ass out on overnighters, laugh out loud. What color Kool-Aid you think go best as lipstick with your shade? Laugh out loud, bitch. You done fucked up picking a fight with me. You will lose. Proving boxers aren't shit. Hopefully causing boxing money to swerve over into paying men off and not comparative bitches like you who pity pat and get paid for it. <laughs> I like that shit. I like that. It's pretty good. Uh, and then I follow up with, you're a trick punk. You said you were going to kick my ass, but, and that was enough. I don't have to take shit from a bitch boxer like you. When in a real fight, no rules, I snatch your life if a ref's not there to stop it. You think Danny Boy from Australia turned your ass out in front of all his peeps? Uh, they're still calling you Spotus down under, saying you give it up like $3 tricks in a whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh out loud. Oh, and FYI, just because you work at Folsom Prison don't mean anyone there likes you and don't mean you couldn't, ironically and tragically, end up there yourself. Ask Voltaire Williams. After I shut him down and he was a much better and more gifted boxer than your failed at football because you're a pussy ass ever was or is going to be, uh, he said that Otis is a bitch and... <laughs> uh, Laugh out loud. Did he really say that? Uh, I wonder. I wonder what homeboy would say. I wonder if you'd have the nuts to do something about it if he called you a bitch like I am. Bitch, I'm reading this on YouTube in a vid and saying you don't have the guts to ever put your name on a line against me because you're afraid you stepped in over your pussy tight heavy oh it, you're afraid you stepped in over your pussy light heavy head re realizing that this heavy would fuck you up. And then Otis comes back, damn dude, I just figured out what's bothering you. Not only does your life suck because you're an overage white guy who got your ass knocked out and handed to you by a young cat, you have no real boxing or MMA experience. And judging by your age and probably never will, you're, you're ugly. By your last couple of emails, you obviously, like gay porn, probably stared, stared, oh, starred in a couple of movies. It, he said stared. I, because that's what he does. Um, I'm guessing you got some mental issues and penis envy. On that note, I would say don't hate me, player. Hate the game. But because you're so lame, I'm going to just say hate your life. Because one thing we can both agree on is it sucks to be you. Bye. I, dude, check it out. I've seen your picture. You're a ugly motherfucker. If you didn't have fucking athletics, like, you know, as your stick, you would get no pussy. And would people please find out the name of the woman that Otis is supposedly in love with, you know, as a love child with her? <laughs> that fucking was a funny ass fucking, that was some funny shit. Otis, you're a punk, and I will beat your ass, okay? And if anybody ever comes for me, I don't have to fucking, uh, you know, get the info on where you live now, do I, okay? I can just come straight over, should I bring them, and, and do you tandem and shit? Because... Fuck with me, my nigga, and uh, you know what? Uh, how do I end this and shit? You know, I was gonna go like really cool, like with the rhyme and shit. But um, it's like this, dude. You fucked up. I'll kick your ass. I'm a better, I'm a better athlete than you ever fucking dreamed of being. Okay? Yeah, I'm white and um, 43, and that's part of this thing. You know, um, almost as lean as you are. Okay? And I'm stronger, and I'm a better athlete, and I'm not a pussy. And I don't have people fucking, you know, disrespecting me on the football field and then talking shit about it and getting my ass kicked like you did, punk. And you know what? The guy that served you, fool, uh, he was like Bon Lapua's, like, little cousin and shit, okay? Uh, when they fucking, you know, throw little fucking lap dogs out, that's what they get you for, okay? And when a fucking, uh, when they want a man, okay, they come for a battle drone like me, bitch. I will fuck you up, Otis Griffin, and I caught you out, punk. And I'm saying, uh, I hope you don't lose your job over this. That would really suck, wouldn't it? Peace.